Welcome to Purple Banditos. Welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. I'm Purple Rodri. So last time we've kind of been running all over the place lately. We've just kind of been finishing off everything that we need to. We finished off Snowhead. We went ahead and tried to upgrade our sword. And that's actually what we're going to be finishing off today. There is quite a bit we still need to do. So hopefully I'll be able to take care of it, you know, in a good manner. As I said to you guys though, I'm pretty good at this game. So I think I'll be able to manage my way through here. Let's go ahead and actually make our way back back towards the Goron City though because that's actually where we need to go it feels once in a while like whenever I come back into it I'm like whoa you know this game's a little bit trippy what the heck was I doing and I do remember that we still have quite a bit to do here with the Gorons I mentioned to you guys a little bit about you know having to go after the ranch and making our way there and the sword upgrades and all those sorts of things so that is what we're gonna try to do i hope you guys are having a great day hope you guys are having a nice weekend happy new year's this is actually my first video of 2016 who would have thought 2016 is already here it feels like 2015 just actually flew by let's go ahead and talk to this goron here though he's gonna go ahead and sell us the powder keg i'm sure a lot of you guys already know pretty much what you're doing here so we're getting the powder keg it's pretty much a huge bomb you can throw at anything and blow up anybody well I don't know if you can actually blow up anybody but I know you can blow up big boulders and rocks and that's pretty much what we have to do but before we can actually access the powder keg we're doing a little bit of a test here so this is just something you have to do in order to gain access to the power keg so uh, the power keg the powder keg so it's pretty much like you know you have to do this little test and trial little beta testing in order to get access to these little kegs which after you get it here for the first time you're able to buy them near clock town a bunch of other places so it's not like you guys are gonna have to be stressing out and having to beat you know snowhead all over again and go through all this in order to just obtain one keg it's not something that really does that so you'll, you'll be pretty good once we go later on because i think we're actually gonna need powder kegs a couple times we're gonna need them a few times in this game let me go ahead and actually concentrate a little bit in this though if you take a hit i'm pretty sure that you throw the powder keg so just make sure that you don't get hit dodge all the wolves do your thing you know, the freaky part about this, though, is that you kind of have to stay as a Goron, too, because you don't have another form that can lift the powder keg because it is so heavy. So just don't get hit. I know it's kind of a difficult thing to do. I know personally for me, I feel like I'm always running around getting hit in Majora's Mask. I feel like I'm always just running all over the place dying. I should probably start getting a couple more fairies for us, too. But we're actually going to take this right up here, which is actually the area we need to be at for the sword upgrade. So all these little mini quests, it's kind of cool that they actually piece together i remember when i was a first you know first a kid playing through this game i had no idea what the heck this was all about i have to tell you guys that you know when i was first playing as a kid we didn't have all these crazy guides and all these sorts of things and you know we just didn't know what the heck was going on we kind of just jumped into things and hoped that we'd be headed in the right direction that we'd find a key or find the map or unlock the item you know nowadays it, it seems a lot more simple because you actually seem to know what you're doing especially after you've played the game i've probably beat majora's mask like 15 times some crazy amount like that but imagine being like one of the first people who had to beat this game without like a Nintendo guide or what are they called? Like the Prime guides or whatever is the Prima guides. And you're just like playing this game and you have no idea what's going on. You got like this three day thing and you're just like freaking out about it. Especially like me. I think I, uh, whenever a deadline's coming up, I think I always start to worry just a little bit. So, whenever you have, like, you know, you're on dawn of the final day, you're just starting to stress out a little more, and you're just like, okay, all right, well, this game's just a little bit stressful. I remember playing that and thinking that the first time I went through it, I was just like, I don't know how the heck I'm gonna be able to beat this game in three days, because I just didn't understand the cycle behind it. You know, I didn't really understand what the heck this game was trying to do, and it took a little bit of time. So, imagine trying to figure out things like where the heck you have to take this powder keg, or just, you know, how you get to use them without having to come back and defeat snowhead every time it's just these little concepts that i feel like if you're playing this without knowing what you're doing it, it becomes a little bit more difficult and i think that's why this game is one of those that people are always like oh man it was so tough it was so hard because there's just so much to do with that guys though we have gone ahead and obtain the powder keg so now we're actually good to go and we have access to them so as i mentioned to you guys we can buy them now if you guys know the little store in clock town where you can pick up the bombs the little bomb shop that's exactly what it is the bomb shop that's where you guys will be able to pick up all the powder kegs i'm pretty sure like 100 rupees each all the you know all those sorts of things but we're looking good now with that out of the way we you know we can take care of a couple things we blew up that big hole which would lead to the gold dust that we need in order to upgrade our swords we can go and make our way 
way to another area there's just a whole bunch of stuff that we need to do and that's actually what i'm gonna do i do things a little bit different so now i'm actually gonna go ahead and make my way back to the mountain village and take care of everything that we need to it's actually really really cool i love this area of the game every time i get to see the mountain village or or see the snow or you know see the goron running around in this little area I'd say especially the Mountain Village, after all. It always just brings me back as a kid. I think we all have those games that bring a little bit of nostalgia. Or maybe just even areas in games if you really take the time to think about it. And Mountain Village would have to be one of those for me. When I was a kid, the Goron has always been my favorite mask. So just getting to this area meant a lot to me. It was like, it, it felt like a really big checkpoint in the game. It was like, okay, we made it. We got to a huge area. It's really cool and I'm happy about it. I'm going to go ahead and enter this race, by the way. As I mentioned to you guys before, this is something you need to do in order to obtain the gold dust. So I'm going to try to just focus down here a little bit and make sure that we can get this race going. All right, guys. Wish us luck. Don't run the clock. All right, you know what? I feel like we should do it. Here we go, guys. Good luck to all of us. I hope I don't mess this up too much and let's hope that we can make our way through here this is actually feeling quite good right now you know one of the perks of having that power up the the magic bar power up is you know being able to go at a crazy amount of speed i highly suggest that you definitely obtain the bigger energy bar before going after the gold dust i mean i'm sure there's people out there who can do it with the shortened magic meter but for those of you guys that aren't like absolutely insanely mechanically crazy at majora's mask and you guys just want to like you know casually play through it just go ahead and get yourself the upgrades you know the fairies definitely are something that help out in this game and it'll make this much easier on you as you can see i'm already having a little bit of a hard time i don't like to like run into the trees and slow down one of my goals whenever i do these races is just try to stay at full speed at all times i think if you actually stay at full speed at all times you'll be able to just like run through this race beat everybody out it's not a big deal and you know what it's okay if once in a while you just bump into them it's not a big deal we're actually coming up really close though to the finish of this race and i think i got this one that was actually pretty good so one mess up didn't slow me down that much but just be careful as you can see near the end they really start speeding up and they just go all crazy but with that guys we are looking quite good so we obtained the gold dust if you guys have noticed i'm kind of doing this thing in a little bit of parts i'm trying to just accomplish little things here and then you know do more in the next video so with that guys we have gone ahead and obtained the gold dust which we're looking pretty good to continue on it's actually really really exciting there are only a couple things left for us to do here in this area and we will be able to move forward and continue onwards into the next couple areas of this game which i'm actually excited for now we're actually gonna go ahead and make our way to milk road as i mentioned to you guys powder kegs that was the big theme of this episode so we're gonna continue from here next time make sure you guys give this video a like thank you guys so much for watching and i'll be catching you in the next episode goodbye